Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I, I appreciate my colleague and friend, Mr. Raskin, stating that he's, he's baffled because that's a rare moment when, when Jamie Raskin would be baffled. But if you were going to be baffled about something, my friend, it, it would be in the realm of, could we agree, something that you've never personally experienced. And let me say that when a police officer faces uh, accusation, because this is every day, ladies and gentlemen, I truly, respectfully, you know, some of you guys don't have any idea what you're talking about here. And the injury you're bringing into the, into the rank and file of your, your law enforcement professional is significant. When you take away that, that insulation of support that individual officers have uh, when they face, they face accusations, which is every day. Let me say that whenever there's been an effort to, um, to, to enhance the ability of the street to impact individual officers that are working patrol, that are on the street, the street immediately picks that up. And the, and the street wants the, the, the muscle officers off of the street so that they can run their crime. They can, it's called the game. They in the game on that side, I'm in the game on this side. So when they see that they can push buttons on particular police officers that are working effective patrol, I'm talking about cops that will actually get out of their car and have interaction with citizenry that they're observing. And, and if, if you get out of your car in a high drug, a high crime area, you know what you can expect, ladies and gentlemen? You can expect a foot pursuit. And at the end of that foot pursuit, you can expect resistance. And then we're going to affect that arrest. And we're going to find drugs. And we're going to take another drug dealer, another criminal off of the street. In some way, we're going to try. And during that, that just a, this is every day, man. I mean, for... For some of America, this might sound like a, you know, a bizarre concept, but, but for a patrol officer and work in the cities of America today, this is every day, 12-hour shifts. So when, when you know that you, if, you're, if you're squared away, if you're, if, you're, if you're protecting people's civil rights, if you're operating within the parameters of your department's training and policy, if you're if you're handling your business properly on the street, then you'll be protected. You'll be protected because you're going to be accused. But the moment the street figures out that an officer is on his own, of course the street's going after that guy. Don't you understand? They want that cop off the street. So if they find out they can sue him or pursue him or, pu or publicly, you know, have his name listed on a website, what he's accused of, of course you're going to lose officers and of course crime is going to increase. So you, you got to just be humble enough to step back from this, from this reform that was forced through and say, man, that's not working. It doesn't work. We have to protect righteous officers, and I will be, because I, 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 I love and respect my colleague, Mr. Raskin, and because I named him in my opening, I'm going to yield to him uh, to respond to my... Well, I just have a question for my dear friend, Mr. Higgins from Louisiana, and thank you for typically uh, insightful and eloquent statement. Do you believe that chiefs of police are aware of the dynamic you're talking about? Yes, sir. Okay, and do you, would you trust the chiefs of police to be able to make determinations about when someone's no, coming in and you don't? No, sir, you trust, you trust, you trust your, you have to trust your organization, your civil service rep, and the, and the infrastructure there, the, the attorneys and the staff there, you have to trust them because they have power that the chief will respect. As an individual officer, you do not. So if I could follow up, my question is, do you think that this is a decision that we should make nationally for every state and city in the, in the country, or do you think it should be decided locally by particular I think it should be determined, good question, but as a constitutionalist, I think it should be determined according to constitutional 
uh, jurisdictional authority. So for this Congress, we only have authority over D.C. And, it, and they're, when the sovereign states, I think the sovereign states should determine their, their, their course there. And I appreciate the gentleman's uh, dialogue here, and I yield, Mr. Chairman.